Welcome to Royal Zone, has madly shouts as Queen proclaim Cambridge kids will have trains secretly marking huge privilege. If this is your first time tuning in our channel please hit the subscribe and notification button to keep you posted on our latest videos. With millions of children heading back to school this week, at least some of them may be starting to think about a busy summer vacation. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have embraced the staycation trend this year, giving Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis and their grandmother the Queen cruise lessons, beach games and a welcome Scottish treat. In recent years, the Cambridges have flown to the distinctive Caribbean island of Mustique, defined as the playground of the rich and famous, where they have rented luxury villas. With the pandemic having dashed the hopes of many Britons to holiday abroad, this summer season this family decided to preserve their neighbourhood by travelling to Norfolk, the Isles of Scilly and of course Balmoral. While proud sailor Kate literally showed the kids the ropes, her Majesty also reportedly hosted a few quality hours with her own family and even left personalized gifts on her pillow. Here's how the younger kids in Cambridge made the most of their damage. With Kate and Wills both passionate sailors, their own family of kin would make the most of the fleeting summer sun with the help of a tour boat off the Norfolk coast. A neighborhood offering told Vanity Fair's Katie Nichol that the Cambridge are now their circle of sailors kin if you have the kids on top while staying at their Norfolk home, Anmer Hall. In early August, Kate has always been a ready sailor and William is totally true too said the author. They had a lot of fun on the coast this summer showing young people how to influence and steer a ship. They loved the water and the two eldest star real swimmers and had no qualms about jumping into the sea even when it turns to a cool morsel. Eight-year-old George, six-year-old Charlotte and three-year-old Louis reportedly spent hours in the water with their dog and performed on the sand as their father and mother looked on. When the royal couple boarded the boat, they wisely made sure all three children were wearing lifestyle jackets. However, when it was time to swim in the sea, the youngsters put on ordinary swimsuits. They are a very special circle of parents who love being outdoors and in nature. It's become lovely to see her playing so freely and now not being bothered by anyone's help, the source added. Over the bank holiday weekend, the Cambridges also wanted to stop by to see the Balmoral boss. Her Majesty turned into great joy to welcome her grandchildren to the Scottish estate for the long weekend, a culture that has become an annual fixture, reports Vanity Fair. However, this year's trip made more sense, not only because of last year's COVID regulations, but also because it marked the first circle of the family following the death of Prince Philip. A source told Nichols the Cambridges had a unique time with the Queen over the weekend and still loved walking as much as Balmoral. They love being outdoors and walking in the hills and spending quality time with their own families. The source said, it's where William spent much of his youth and it's important to him that his children appreciate what he did. As a young boy, Kate and Wills reportedly took the children for long walks fishing, horseback riding and bike rides. Two honoring Prince Philip, considered the king of barbecues among the royal family, she also loved the unusual way of preparing dinner outside. The queen is said to have sunk into the itch for things to go back to normal at some point, and embraced the traditional barbecue as a way to connect with her family. A report told The Sun, home barbecues have returned to the diet for the first time even without Philip there. While the Cambridges have also reportedly frolicked with Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall, they are believed to be particularly keen to help the Queen. A family friend told Vanity Fair that every year the monarch seems ready to spend some very satisfying time with the grandkids or even leave unique gifts on parents' pillows. In the afterlife, it became a huge lodging place with many of the Queen's grandchildren and great-grandchildren. The pal said, Her Majesty benefits immensely. Sir Ferguson is coming, one delivery told the Daily Mail. Maybe he's here with Andrew. The Duke and Duchess of York were also added with the help of her daughter Princess Eugenie and her husband Jack Brooke.